do you want? Do you know what day it is? No. It was just a year ago today that I married your sister and you married mine. Do you remember? That's right. Today's our anniversary. You know that was a good idea of yours, marrying into each other's family. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's get the girls and go out tonight and celebrate our anniversary. That's a good idea. Get my wife on the phone. What's the new number? Can't you remember? Well, they keep changing it. It's Waterloo 2-2. Two, 2-2? Two. 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. Two, two. That you, sis? <laughs> Your husband, Ollie, wants to talk to you. All right. <laughs> Is that you, baby? Yes, Pudgy Budgy, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what day this is? <laughs> what about you and Sis and Stan and me going out tonight and celebrating our anniversary? That's a good idea. Let's go down to Foo Young's and get some sucky yaki. Pardon me just a moment, sweetheart. <laughs> Don't listen to my conversations when I'm talking privately. Just because she's your sister, that's no sign you have to hear everything we say. Well, you listen in when I'm talking to your sister. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I don't. You certainly do. Well, what about it? Sookie yaki. Oh, oh, oh. Now, what were you saying, sweetheart? <coughs> you, sis? Yes? Is Fanny there? Oh, Fanny! What do you want? It's your husband, Stanley. He wants to speak to you. Oh, very well. <laughs> Hello. Is that you, Fanny? Yes? Say, listen, Ollie wants to take us out tonight to celebrate our university. You tell Ollie we can't go. I'm cooking dinner, and we're going to have a nice, quiet evening at home. Listen, we have a surprise for him. <laughs> but don't you tell him. I won't. Goodbye. Goodbye. Who were you talking to? I was just talking to Fanny. What'd she say? She said that we can't go out tonight, that we have to go right home. Why? She's got a surprise for you. What else did she say? She told me not to tell you that she had the surprise. Well, don't tell me. I won't. I can keep a secret. Put that cake down and help me fix the table. What do you want me to do? When I get underneath and unlatch it, you pull it open. Well, why didn't you say so? You're always getting excited. All right, now pull.
phone the bakery and order another cake. Well, open the door. Hello, Sid. Hello, Fanny. What's new? The funniest thing happened today. Fanny fell in the cake. <laughs> Dinner ready? It'll be ready in just a while. Hello, baby. Don't baby me, you big lunk. Oh! Oh! Why, it wasn't me. It was that dumb brother of yours. <gasps> Don't you call him dumb. Why, you've forgotten more than he'll ever know. In his little finger. You... Dear. Come here. What do you want? Close the door. Is Ollie home yet? You didn't tell him about the surprise. Have you got any money? <laughs> now take that 15 cents and go down to the corner and get some strawberry ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> your soup without making that noise? Why, you're making a noise. That isn't a soup noise. It's my asthma. <coughs> Fifteen cents for the strawberry ice cream. We haven't any.
Hello. Family says they haven't any strawberry ice cream. Well, get tootie foodie. <laughs> well, get tootie fruity. <laughs> Give me tutti fruity. We haven't any. Oh, there it goes again. Hello. Well, get chocolate. Hmm. I'll take chocolate. We haven't any. I'll get it. Hello. Well, get vanilla. Anything. Oh. I'll take vanilla. We haven't any. But what have you got? I told you, we don't sell ice cream here. Next door. Where's the ice cream? They didn't have any. Why didn't you go somewhere else? Well, I spent the 15 cents calling you up. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard of. You keep out of this. I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't. Sit down. Spent the 15 cents calling me up. Hmm. Fanny. What? Would you go into the kitchen and get me some horses radish? You go get it yourself. Horses radish. What's wrong with that? Why don't you leave him alone? You're always picking on him. Pick, 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 pick. You keep your big mouth out of this. He's my husband, and I'll talk to him just as I please. Just because you wear the pants in your family, that's no sign you're going to wear them in mine. Oh, well, I wear my own pants in this family. Yes, and I wear mine. Whoop. Don't pay any attention to her. It serves us right for marrying into such a family. Wait a minute. What's the matter with my family? I'll have you know that my family's just as good as your family. Oh, yeah? Yeah. After all, our family's done for your family. Let's stop this arguing and get dinner over so I can find out what the surprise is. <laughs> oh, so you told him, didn't you?
Now let that be a lesson to you. If I wasn't a perfect lady, I'd bust you in the nose. Does Mrs. Laurel live here? Yes. Here's the cake she ordered this morning. Will you see that she gets it? I certainly will. The man said to be sure that you got this. Thank you. Thank you. 